Oh, my sweetie pie. My sweetie pie. I was not expecting him, hi baby, to make an appearance for potentially the last video for my Hogwarts Legacy saga. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Last episode, I definitely had an existential crisis. I don't know if it was evident, but it was quite apparent to myself when I was playing. There was just this moment in time where I hadn't fully grasped the fact that the game was almost done, like the main story was almost done. There was a distinct point for me where, and I think it was when I was looking through my collections or my, you know, those, those completion cards and I saw that main mission was like 12 out of 14 and my heart just stopped. And I had this like rush of anxiety about finish finishing this game because I wasn't expecting for it to happen so soon. I was kind of hoping that I would have <laughs> another six months to play the main story like I did with like Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know why I thought that, but I think deep down I was hoping that that would be the case. And I think you could play this for that long with playing new characters and all that good stuff and trying to 100% the game, but I do plan on making other characters and playing through it all over again and even potentially streaming it, sharing it with you guys. But I'm gonna be honest, like it's not quite the same as when you play through the main story for the first time. I, I think you guys can understand that pretty well. Anyway, how could I forget my normal intro? Welcome back for more puppy vibes and video games today. We'll see how long he stays up here in my lap. Oh, also, <laughs> I tried to do my hair today in such a fashion where it kind of matches my character. She always, pretty much like most of my playthrough, she's had like that half up, half down, pulled back look. So I was like, what better way to honor my character today than to try to match her as best as I can? My character has been my idol. She has hit this level of sarcasm and funniness that I wish I had every single day. And um, I have definitely fallen completely head over heels in love with this game. And it has been such a joy. And if this is the last video for the main quest, I hope it's a good one. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey with me. Thank you to Avalanche for creating a wonderful, wonderful gaming experience that brought so many people in the community together that brought so many amazing people to my channel and that quite literally changed my life and the course of my channel. So once again, thank you. Toby thanks you. Right, Toby? Say thank you. He's like, shut up. I want to go to sleep. Shut up. Is my partner in crime okay right now? I think we're good. All right, guys. It's been fun. It's been real. And it has been real fun. Let's jump back into Hogwarts Legacy. I'm telling you guys right now, expect tears if emotions are not your thing this might not be the video for you i have so much to show you though <laughs> this wouldn't be a hogwarts legacy miranda video without another room of requirement tour oh man dude it's gonna be so good be proud don't look don't look don't look yet i don't know why it spawned me up there anyway okay so here we enter the grand foyer. Ooh, this will never get old. Also, um, in doing some self-reflection and uh, inheriting a lot of self-awareness recently, I am quite definitely turning into Professor Umbridge. Don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so this was awesome. I know this doesn't really fit my vibe, but like these horn dudes, these horned suit of armor guys, Awesome, absolutely love them. It took me at least 20 minutes last night <laughs> to center them on the pillars because I'm crazy. It's fine. Um, I also went through, so hear me out. I don't know if you care about this at all, but I care about this very, very, very much. Um, there's eight different types of plants you can grow in the game. So I was like, in order to like optimize, but also decrease the space that I'm using for like utility purposes. I was like, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna build eight large potted whatever. You can always use fertilizer to increase the yield of the plant. And I, look, I sound like a scientist. I'm taking this way too seriously. It's fine. Anyway, so I did eight large plants 
if this is not how you want to do it, that's that's totally fine, but this is how I want to do it, personally. Um, so I have every type of plant growing. And then I have them all fertilized so that I can, you know, obviously get a little bit more. But I've noticed it's like six instead of five. So the increased yield really isn't that much. But that's besides the point. Anyway, okay, whatever. This was really, really freaking cool. I, oh my god, I love that there's a bowl of apples. I also love this plant right here. I don't know what they call it. Is that called baby's breath? I don't know. I, I absolutely love that type of plant, though. Or, or something, I don't know if that's exactly what that's called, but there's a plant. They call it, I think it's called baby's breath. It's like little tiny white flowers. Girls tend to put them in their hair, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and romantic, and kind of fits my hair, like, my character's hairstyle, but I love this large botanical table. I just, I, when I found it, I got so excited, and I was like, I know exactly where it's gonna go. It's gotta go in the center of my room when you first walk in. This is pretty much the same, okay? So up here on the left, I put a cute little bookcase. I found this, like, book stand a, a while ago, and I thought this was perfect. I think it just goes really well here, since it's not really a functional thing. Um, fertilizer, that's been there. Boom. Oh, hi, Deke. Thank you for sweeping. You're the best. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, this is my favorite part of the Room of Requirement, and I think my reasoning why will make complete sense to you. This is my game station. Oh, 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 okay. So to your left here, you will see a card game. It looks like the cards that you get from the chocolate frog containers. And up here, you will see my absolute pride and joy. The professor to my umbrage, or the, rather the Dolores to my umbrage, the cat plate, and I, this is, this was absolutely genius. This is my favorite reference to the original Harry Potter series in the game by far. I love, it's just such a simple decorative thing. But it's it hits at home. You know exactly where it's from. You know exactly why they put it in the game. And I absolutely forkin' love it. So that's that's my favorite piece in the whole game. Like out of everything in the game, the cat plates are my favorite. I I hate to say that. I, I you know what? Maybe I am a little bit of Dolores Umbridge. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. This is my second favorite thing because I love anything alluding to wizard's chess. I am kind of a chess player. I have played in the past. I generally know the rules. It's been a long time since I've played, so I need to brush up on my skills a little bit, but I have won my fair share of games. Um, but yes, this is my favorite. I had to have it overlooking the... I was gonna make this a sitting area, but I was like, gaming is more important. Onward. To the left, we have, I think my third favorite thing in my room of requirement is this little Quidditch like, I don't know, moving diorama game thing. I just think it's so cool. And it's one of the few things in the game that I will actually just sit here and watch just to see like what it, like what they've had it do. You know, I want to see where all the little mini players go. And it's just really, really fun to watch. I don't know. I, it just little, little joy right there. My favorite thing. So that's my game station. I love it. Oh, okay, so down here in the annex, I, I think I kind of moved some stuff around here. Um, I think some stuff may be a little different. Oh, I kind of got rid of those, like, dividers because I felt like it was too suffocating to this area of the room. So this is still, like, my private desk area with some moonstone stuff, like my little office space. But I decided to create a globe collection, whether or not you like it. Does it go well? Probably not, but I kind of wanted a setup for my room of requirement that really showcased all the cool little trinkets and things that you pick up throughout the game that... So I, I just call it my globe collection. I don't know. It, it is what it is. I love this one, though. This is definitely my favorite. I, the, the dragon is, is by far the best part. So we still got that. I put up the, the Hufflepuff banner stands because Hufflepuff pride this is this is this this is still here this is also one of my favorite statues and I had to put my herbology trophy here as well showcase from center I love plants and then I found this massive table which I just thought was so cool I had to put it here I rearranged this little sitting area so that it looked more open not as closed off and like 
kind of tied together the whole room. Um, I moved these here. These are like some display cases and stuff. I uh, love this one. I love the dragon. Oh, no! Oh, God! It's fine. It's fine. Look away. It's fine. It's fine. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. I want to uh, rearrange this so that this is looking out into the room. Okay. Actually, if you look kind of closely, this is really, really fucking cool. And I didn't just realize it until now. If you've ever been to Gring, um, not Gr Gringotts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gringotts. Or if you've ever been to Diagon Alley in Universal, Florida, and I've... No, yeah, yeah, because I've been to the one in LA and it did, they didn't have Diagon Alley there. I am dead serious when I say that Orlando, Florida is one of my favorite places on the planet because of Disney World and Universal Studios. I am a massive adult child. It's fine. I live with it. You know, it is what it is. But this looks identical to the... When you're walking down Diagon Alley in Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida, there's at the very end, it's basically the Gringotts ride. Uh, it looks exactly like Gringotts. The whole, the whole space of Diagon Alley is 2AT. Looks like the set from the movies. I, it's my favorite place on the planet. But they have the Gringotts ride. And at the very top, there's this, there's literally this dragon. It looks identical, the same, and it spits fire. Um, every, I don't know if it's like 10, 15-ish minutes. It's very hot. <laughs> you can feel it in the park when it happens. It's, it's like, you almost wonder if it has singed your eyebrows off. But I, I didn't notice that until just now. I think that this is kind of a nod to the Universal Studios Diagon Alley in Florida. So that just made me super happy. And we haven't even left the room of requirement yet. Um, otherwise, nothing has changed too much down here. Um, was there anything that I wanted to do? I'm still convinced that this annex part is going to open up and we're going to get another separate part of the room because, you know, it makes sense for symmetry. But we're almost done with the main story, so I don't know when the heck it's going to happen. Aha! Onward to the best part. <sighs> Oh my, come here, my babies. Come here, my babies. Oh, come here, my babies. This this little walking booger right here, okay? This little fuzzy boogie. Measel offspring. I have never seen something so cute in my life. Um, that is, that is the coolest. I have been breeding them like nuts. And, uh, oh my gosh, y'all need pets. Y'all need pets. Say no more. I'm not gonna, like, accidentally attack you, even though I probably will, and I apologize in advance if it happens, okay? <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> the moon calf offspring. I have never seen anything, like, even in real life, so cute in my life. Why are these not real? It's the internal question I will forever be asking myself. Oh my god, it's so damn cute. The Niffler baby! <laughs> Shut up! Stop looking at me. I'm gonna cry. Stop it. Stop it. I haven't gone through and named any of them yet, so maybe we can do that later today after I'm done sobbing. Um, if we do finish the main story today. Um, let me see, though. So, we got Measle Offspring, Niffler Offspring, Mooncalf Offspring, and soon-to-be Puskin Offspring, because we got this one bacon in the oven. Look at it, sleeping. Go, 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 go. You can do this. Just poop it out. Got it? It's cool. I don't think that's actually how it works, but, you know. Um. Where's the- Oh, there you are. You're so damn cute. Hi, babies. Hi, little babies. Um, so my thought process was with this one, since there's four species per vivarium, um, actually, let's call this one to me. We can summon that. Um, my thought process was, you know, with this, each vivarium allows you maximum four species. So I was like, four species, two that can be bred together to make an offspring, so it, like, it literally works out perfectly. You can have four species, two, like, of each to breed, and then a baby, so you have, like, a family for each species per vivarium, and yes. 
I haven't decided whether or not these are going to be permanent homes for each species in each vivarium. Maybe certain species still feel like they belong in other vivariums, but I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really gotten that far yet. Um, but yeah, I had to show you that. I'm gonna have to come back here later. We got 15 minutes-ish until the baby puskane gets pooped out, but let's go on to the next one. This one hasn't changed too much. I've only kept the Thestrals and the the toads in here. And I got a little baby toad. Oh my god, look at the baby toad. It's so cute. Hi. Y'all need to eat. Y'all need to eat. It's so cute. So cute. Go eat your food. I'll be back. But we got a baby Thestral. We got so many adult Thestrals in here. Um, you know, since... I feel like the unicorn, you you tend to find their dens in like a very foresty, swampy, dark area, maybe? I think they tend to hang out in the Forbidden Forest. I can't remember where the den is in this game, but I remember it being in like a darker, foresty area. So I was like, maybe? I just don't think like such a happy, bright, colorful, not colorful, but like bright, iridescent animal belongs in this dark, you know, not very sunlit. Vivarium. I, this was something that I thought about the other day. I'm just, it doesn't feel good to me. So I think I'm going to keep it in the mountain um, biome. The mountain biome, which on to the next vivarium. Haha, -ha, you thought it was going to be the mountain vivarium, didn't you? Well, I'm going to save the best for last. I have to... Where is it? Oh, we got a fooper cooking. So this one I actually haven't bred all of the, the species yet. I still got to do the jabbernoles and the deer calls. And I still got to name them all too. But I kind of want all of the family members to be present in order for me to gain the inspiration to uh, name all of them. But I have to show you this thing. Is that not... The bloody cutest thing you've ever seen. Look at it. It's got the greatest mohawk. That to me screams skater. We got future Tony Hawk right here. Hey, we got deer calls. You guys are next. You guys are going to be making babies next. Adorable little babies. Hi, Calgo. I take this too seriously, okay? Fine. Have fun. Oh, wait, no. High wing, high wings like <gasps> pet me, bish. And we got the floops, the floops. There it is over there. I'll be back though. That one's still cooking too. So we got we got some babies to check out later. Okay. Last but certainly not least. Okay, this is my favorite part. <gasps> oh. Lord of the Shore. I also caught another um, another one so that we could mate it. <gasps> Look at Cheeto. Yes, I named it Cheeto. For obvious reasons. I was so shocked that it came out gold, though. Can I be honest? This was not at all what I was expecting. But it also made me extremely happy. And then here's the proud parent, Hazel. And, um... And then we got Sirius. So I did start naming some of them, okay? So this is Sirius. This is... I, I kept the name Hazel, right? Because I didn't want to rename from its original name. It just didn't feel right to me. But here we got... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this female um, grab horn. I named it Madame Maxime. After um, the headmaster of Bo Batten. <laughs> because she's like a massive giant woman. And I just... it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I just... I started going with the Harry Potter themed names, and it, it felt it felt right. It felt as regal as the Lord of the Shore, right? Um, so that's serious. Oh, and I named here's Fox. I named it Fox after Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix. Beautiful, beautiful. This one wants butt scratches. Oh, I named my other unicorn Bellatrix. So we got Bellatrix, we got Sirius, and then we got Hazel. So Hazel's kind of the odd one out, but I, I kind of went with a, the black family name there. 
<gasps> and then we got Graform Offspring. I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet. I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet. I haven't thought about it. It kind of looks like Darth Maul to me though. Can I be honest? Can I name a Darth Maul? Would that be weird? Yeah, I'm gonna name a Darth Maul. It's gonna happen. Darth Maul? Are you... Are you choking on your face fingers? That's really weird. I it, it definitely is giving Darth Maul mixed with... I feel like there's another Star Wars character that's got like tentacles for face. Faces? Faces? Let's throw them a ball. Let's throw them a ball. Gonna depulso it. Where is it? Where the bloody hell is the ball? Oh. No, no, no. Why does it always get caught back here? No, no. I'm sorry! You got in the way, to be fair. Okay. So, there is my grand tour of where my room is at currently. I hope you enjoyed it. I still have a lot more offspring to put in the oven and uh, we still got to name all of our all of our cute little babies but I want to have all the families together before I I go through and I name everybody I kind of started with this vivarium but um, then I was like I'm gonna stop until I have everyone here and accounted for I need to go harvest these really fast before I forget your baby they're all playing. Oh god! Oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get trampled. I'm gonna die before I finish this game. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. So where I think we're gonna start here. I think we're gonna start with poppies. I think final quest meet poppy in the forbidden forest. Um, and then the final repository. Yeah, I think this is the last mission. I'm really, really, really sad about it. Um, everything else I think I'm gonna save for you know, post main story, either if I decide to live stream the rest of it, who knows? I don't really know what the vibe of the game is gonna feel like after the main story is over, so we'll see. I don't know, I'm gonna play around with it and see if I feel inspired to do that. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna start this off with our first quest of the day where we're gonna go finish off Poppy's quest. Okay, let's do this. Also, I do apologize for being extremely overdramatic regarding all of this, but like, that's just who I am. And uh, this game means so much to me. That's it. <laughs> that's it. And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas and yet only run so deep. Hold on, is this... Do is Doran the centaur that was, like, kind of skeptical and mean to us and, like, tried to kill us at the beginning? I think. His hair looks dark, and I think the, that, per that centaur had dark hair. Anyway. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did. <laughs> And I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try to kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. What precisely did you see in the stars? 
You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. Mm. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events, the cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. How do you know the symbol is where the snidgets are? What makes you so sure the symbol is where the snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. Let's find the snidgets. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the snidgets once Poppy, again. don't cry. Don't cry, Poppy. It's too early. You're gonna make me cry. Don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. Is that it, though? Wait. Is that, there an update to this? Oh, here it is. We got a bird in the hand is all the way out there. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. I'm glad I checked the map. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Okay. I want to go out here and do this. I was going to say, because I cannot. I, I refuse to finish the main quest until all of the side, like, relationship story missions are fully completed. Oh, we got some stuff here in this town. Must have looked past... Oh! Um, oh, before I forget, I will forget if I don't do this now. Need to switch this back. Um, this was Accio. Oh, speaking of Accio. <laughs> okay, I was reading some comments on um, some of these videos the other day, and it cracked me up because there were a couple repeat ones that I, I love, like, the repeat ones, too, that are respectful, of course, because that tells me that, like, that's something to look into, and people tend to repeat the same stuff over and over and over again. So I didn't actually know, you? right, that you see these sacks here. I didn't know that you could Accio the Sackios. Bish, I was today years old when I figured this out. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have cre you have created a monster, I will have you know. Because now every time I'm going to say Accio Sackio. And you're absolutely going to hate me for it. I don't care. I don't care. All right, let's go. I'm going to go talk to Poppy now. Accio Sackio. I need to be stopped. Oh, creepy. Ah! What the hell? No. No, I didn't want to bring this explosive barrel towards me. Big mistake. I only need two more mongrels. To dead. Dead arenas. Oh, I was gonna say it says. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Thank you for taking ten thousand years to climb up that rock. <laughs> okay. Um, is it nighttime? I think it's nighttime. Knowing our meat, he's likely studied here. Okay, let's get this while we're here. Seems too simplistic. Corvus. I don't think I found the Gemini one yet. And as a Gemini, I am very upset by this. All right. Revelio. Are there any Sakios that I can Accios? I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course, Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. I'm ready can you believe it? Actual oh. Snidgets. <gasps> I'm glad oh. we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. I it is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us, 
Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. That's really cool. I had a hard time seeing what the moon calves had drawn out from the perspective that we had <gasps> on the ground. <gasps> Nasals! I'll be coming back for you later. No! I knew this place had something to do with the st I knew it. I came across this a couple hours ago in the game. And I knew it. Greetings. I knew it. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Darren. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. That looks like the Assassin's Creed symbol. That looks like the Oblivion symbol. That, that reminds me of nothing. That also reminds me of nothing. No, that also reminds me of the Oblivion symbol. Oh my god. Okay, so place. Okay. I wonder if the pillars move at all. Uh, yeah, they do. They they absolutely do. Um, but where? Oh, hey, hey! You nasty! You nasty! Oh, wait! Incendio! Oh, rip! Ah. All right, let's just take these things out. Thing. Why am I taking damage right now? Am I poisoned? I came across I came here once and there was a guy <laughs> wrapped up in webbing and he was still alive and he was sitting there talking massive sh on my character and I thought it was so funny. <laughs> Highlight, that was great. Okay Oh, I didn't see the runes on the door. Okay. So it looks like one of the glowing statues need to be in front of like the 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 sun looking one or the star and then the oblivion looking symbol. Wait, or is that where it's where it is right now? No. Okay, so right. So where is the oblivion symbol? Uh looks like one of them is already placed where it needs to be and then this is where the other one needs to go. Here. Does that work or does it have to be like perfect? To do with the light in the darkness. The light in the darkness. What does that mean? The light in the darkness. Not understanding. Because the only ones highlighted on the door are these two. This one and this one. Do they have to be shining up? I don't know. Or maybe do they have to be like on these circles? Perfectly placed. Oh, there was a little. I don't know if you heard that. There was a little bit of a sound there. So maybe. 
What? What? Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Oh, uh, were these always glowing? I'm so curious. I don't know if these were always glowing. Okay. I uh, I don't know why I'm struggling with this so much. I I definitely think that has to go there. I definitely think that has to go there. it has to do with the light in the darkness i get that but that does not help me whatsoever so because it made a noise when i put it on that circle i i am inclined to believe that that's yeah. where it needs to go Is it- is it stupidly simple and I'm just not understanding it? Figure out how to enter the ruins. Okay, so this one is now glowing, right? Okay. I definitely- f The light in the darkness. The light in the darkness. Poppy, what does that mean, Poppy? Poppy, please. Poppy. No. Um Perhaps it has to do with the light in the dark. I have no I have no bloody idea what you're talking about. I okay, so what I'm thinking here then. Oh wait. Wait. I think we have to get the symbols on the floor match- like, I think the symbols on the door that are glowing, so the oblivion-looking symbol and the sun, I think both of those also need to be glowing on the floor. That- that's the only thing I can think of now. So we have one of them glowing. Okay, no, 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 no. Yep, alright, so this one directly changed the other one. Okay, so that's good. We want that to stay there. Perhaps now we need to, to somehow the light in the get the sun to glow. So let's let's move this around until we find the proper circle. That did it! Look, Yay! Dawn, a doorway. I suspect we all know what lies beyond that passage. And now I'm afraid I must leave you. Don't say At that. At least Don't for say a time. That. Don't You're not that. coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Elec. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Okay. I'm sad. I'm so sad. Um, well, I wonder where I fall in the average of how long it took for the average human being to figure that puzzle out cuz i mean now it makes sense obviously but at first i was like i don't i don't get this at all you live in rebellion i feel like a snidget is going to look like a little teeny tiny itty bitty hummingbird rebellion oh super creepy in here Oh god, where do I go? So there's that way? Let's go here. I don't think this is gonna progress anything. 
There's nothing better than a fireplace. Like, whatever, when I eventually am able to afford a house, it has to have a fireplace in it. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. <laughs> okay. Your grand sounds like a badass. Look at Rebellion. the rooms on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Revelio. This place is so cool. I would live here. Um. What? Well, oh. Oh. Thought somebody like was wielding a. Okay. I was wielding a sword and was about to stab me with it. <gasps> Rebellion. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. So this is probably the way to go. I want to see... Here. Let's get Rebellion. up here. Okay. Um, I think we are gonna need to... Let it go. Yep. I love that Levioso huh. trick. Oh my gosh, look little like cubbies for something to live in. They look like little bird nests. Can't go through that door. Ooh. Oh, magical painting! Give me all the goods. Alright, I think we're done with this up here. Woo! Revelio. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. no, you don't. Revelio. Let's blast through this. Oh, that. Yeah, that's fine too. Let's talk about this stuff. This isn't the way to go, is it? I'm so confused. Revelio. Oh my god, it's really dark in here. Um, yeah, let's let's switch to Lumos. Let's have that on us. Lumos. 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 Confringo. Ah. Lumos. Lumos. Ha. Way to go, Poppy. Lumos. Investigate. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Well, it looks like it's unoccupied, so maybe she just move right in. Okay, look, I think we're Lumos. done here. Lumos. Nox. Revelio. Mm, okay. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. Uh, how to get through? Wait, there's probably those cubes up. Oh, there's one. Guardian this, Leviosa. This one is the fire one, it looks like. Yeah. Um. Let's go up here first. I, think I can make that. Rebellion. Aha. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Ooh. Money! 
Okay, so that looks like... Yeah, it's the Frost one here. Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa. Not Leviosa. Alright, so we gotta freeze this baby glacier. We gotta set this on fire. Confringo. Boom! Ooh! Of course! Huh. How clever! Very cool. Look We're at this here. place! I see it. We got another lovely gothic statue. Are you gonna pick that up? No? Okay. What else? Was there anything? What's this? Collect? What? Whoa, 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 whoa! That, Where? What was that? Holy crap! That's for certain. No! Ah! Dead! Shoot. <laughs> what were you saying? You gonna finish that sentence? Oh yeah! No, of course they don't. Hello. Back for more. Not the bright. This. Ah. Right. Woo! Oh, very nice. Oh, I need all that. Magic. Holy crap, they're everywhere! What? Oh man! I think that was all of them. Are the two of you unharmed? I okay. had hoped to return before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I led them here, Doran. Oh. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. What does that mean? I don't like how that sounds. Ah. Rebellion. We get everything. Oh, not yet. <gasps> Excuse me. All right, last sweep. I think we got mostly every <gasps> one last coin purse. There it is. Okay. Alright, now I think we're good. Pavelia. Okay. Oh, can we just open this? Sure. Sure. I thought there was gonna be a puzzle. Cool. is to break the charm. Then they can hatch? You want us to... Oh! Oh, she's so cute! I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. Oh no. No, 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 not me. Oh my god! 
lovely. No wonder why they were mistaken for a golden now. snitch. They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance... <sighs> no harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. Oh, how sweet. Well, I guess they weren't mistaken for the Golden Snitch. They were the Golden Snitch before the Golden Ray Snitch was invented. Today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. I would too. They're so darn cute. Oh. Can I have one for my room of requirement? Asking for a friend. Me. I'm the. I'm the friend. Revenia. Is there anything cool in here to loot? How cute. They're so cute. Alright. So I think we're done? So is this the is this the end of that quest? I'm not ready to be done with it. Oh no! <sighs> Alright, so I have left this like tomb ruin and I think all that is left to do now is to go back to the map chamber I think we have finally completed the poppy saga very bittersweet <laughs> and uh, now to do the final repository okay here we are do I want to do any last minute outfit changes have like one really awesome badass outfit. I really, I did, well I don't know, these have always been my favorite outfits. These have always been my favorite. This was one of the OGs that I picked up that I just always, always loved. And I feel like, ooh. No, that just won't, that won't do. I have to dress for the occasion here, like. No if ands, or buts about it. Oh! Fur coat? I hope that's faux fur, because I don't think Poppy would approve of that. Oh no, too, uh... It looks like the... It looks like the Beast book from the movies, the one with the eyeball. The one that looks like a spider. <laughs> that's also what that reminds me of. Oh, that's a really cool... Quidditch, like, sporty... Sporty one, that's really nice. Um, this this is probably the best coat for this outfit. Mm, why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? Oh, that that's funky. Oh, I do like that one. Oh, <gasps> wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. How would this look like? How would this look with this? Okay, that kind of looks sweet. I think it's <laughs> I think it's a bit tacky for this quest though. Um I don't know what I wanna do. I kinda wanna go back to this one and, and wear this one because that screams me. And that was like the first outfit that I received that made me go, wow. I like I love it. But this is not necessarily my favorite coat, even though it goes best with that coat. This is an awesome coat. I've always loved this one. Um, I do love the color, but this one is also super funky and fun. Me <laughs> if I go back to the same damn outfit I was just wearing, I swear to God, I'm pro it's probably what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna stick with this one because I just I love the funky sleeves, and I love the whole I love the whole ensemble. So I think we're gonna stick with this. Love that I did that. <laughs> Let's finish this. Fig, hold me. I'm not ready. Victor Rookwood is dead. dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's Wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you alright? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. 
but Rookwood himself. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. <laughs> I want to finish it. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. I'm sorry, I had to. He got what he deserved, though. He destroyed so many lives and wouldn't have stopped. I'm glad I was able to put an end to him. You're right. He wouldn't have stopped. You did what you had to do. With Harlow in custody and Rookwood gone, the wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry, I, I sing when, when I'm coping. That's how I you cope. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. True. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Oh, I just got chills. Oh. Mm. Astonishing. That must be the way to the repository. Nothing has happened yet, and I already feel the water in my eyes. So cool. Oh, um, let me switch this and make that that. We can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. I don't think that's gonna happen. Mm -mm. She's about to go down. Keeper's caverns. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle will protect against the incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. This is giving, like, Hogwarts, the battle for Hogwarts at the end of the, of the movies. Let's go. Pavelio. I really hope Weasley comes here and has like some sort of badass line like here, McGonagall had. He cannot be far behind. Protect you your school! Worse, I've always wanted to use that spell. Oh god, I hope there's a moment like that! Shit, sorry if I yelled. I sorry. Renrook will be pleased. Beers. Pause. Woo! Oh, looks like a dance. The Yule Ball. It's fairly armist, Beers. Randall must be here somewhere. This drill stands between us and him. We need to move it. I shall handle it. One moment. Freeze it. Oh, let's go, Fig! It's funny how we started the game with Fig and we are ending it with Fig. This is so poetic. 
partners in crime. I feel he like he's like my uncle, you know. Oh hell yeah! Oh, let's go to the party. Ah! Bombarda. There's a lot happening. Ah! Did it just hit them? It's just hitting. Ow! You fought one of these in hot. I did. Oh! Let me take that. Throw that right at you. I'm not avoiding you. Woo, baby! Finish this guy off. He's done. He's done for. Yeah! Tell him, you tell him, Miranda Lorian. Oh no, I was gonna bombard that guy. Oh, I'm gonna get away from this bloody troll. There he's done for now. Ha! Lovely. Now what? We blast through. Rebellion. Um. Let's see. Oh, Wiganwald potion. Yeah, we don't need those. We don't need those. Yeah, nah. Um. Okay, so. Oh, this was the ledge. Oh, what? All right, never mind. Wait, wait, it looks like there's- Oh, 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 I see it. Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Very perceptive, mine. It worked. Let's go. He was gonna say, like, very perceptive, my young Padawan. Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos! Listen, more goblins up ahead. An intruder! No, you are the intruder. Oh, hello! Oh, rip. Yeah, right. These tunnels That's haven't as much luck so far. Um, oh, there's another one. Vivellio. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. Let's let's throw out the chomping cabbages. Let's chomp on them all day. Oh, this is I'll hold that thought. Somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Ronan, I haven't seen you since the beginning. We shall make quick work of this. It's like when the fam is here together. It's just, oh, I, it's so overwhelming for me. Thank God this. He's being triumphant. Ah, uh, gets me every time. Professor Weasley is such a badass. It's not even funny. I love her. Oh. Oh, such a... 
Another troll. Yeah! <laughs> this is for you! This is for you, ready? One, two, three, six! <laughs> so I actually have the upgrade, so. This is for you in the comments who was like, throw three of them down! Let's go! Mechanical life character I could have asked for. <gasps> for a moment there, I thought the music was gonna go. Da, 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 da. Yes! Yes! Oh, we can also use the cabbages on the knights, right? I'm sorry, headphone users. I apologize. Pensive Knights, I'm so happy to see you again. My Go old on. friends. Quickly. I don't have it on me. here before Ranrock. Oh, this is where Isadora died. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. Oh. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? No pressure. I intend to open it. I intend to keep it contained here. I don't- this shouldn't be used by anyone. It's meant to be here, I think. Let's keep it contained. I plan to keep the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? Um... I shall, oh, oh, okay. I shall keep it secret for now. Cause I do think it's, it's important to share the load in general. Share the load. 
should keep it secret for now. I plan to keep it a secret for now, but in time, when I'm ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. Ran Rock, where we haven't seen him yet. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply hand <gasps> it over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <laughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. He destroyed it? What? Oh my god, what's happening? I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Where did I go? Oh, 
Oh! Yeah, I dropped down here? What the? You can't run forever, I Give up now. No. When's when's Fig gonna make us come back, okay? <laughs> Like, would the whole school collapse, hypothetically? <gasps> oh, he's still alive! Okay, thank god! Okay, wow. Yeah, I thought he was a goner.
The Wizarding World could not be in more capable hands. Spoke too soon, I guess. Whatever. God. Damn it. Oh, that was so good. What a great ending. Sad, but. <coughs> Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary. Uh, oh my Mary god. Anne, whom we lost much too soon as well. <clears throat> he should not be talking. Thank you. <laughs> Tell him to shut up, please. Yeah. yeah, you need to shut up. You need to go sit down. <laughs> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. What the? <clears throat> what? <laughs> to Professor Fig. I need to chill. Shit. I got my BB-8 coffee cup. Okay. Holy! <laughs> Why am I so emotionally attached to fictitious characters? Never imagined we'd attend a funeral for one of our professors. <sighs> Glad Weasley spoke for Fig. She honored him. He'll be well remembered. I only wish we could have done the same for Solomon Sallow. I need to go and see Anne soon. Ominous, there's something I need to tell you. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if you faced quite a fight. The rumor's true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, I knew what it. are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Victor Rookwood. Yep. It was Rookwood all along. This? This can't be. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. You see, since Feldcroft was of interest to Ranrock, it became of interest to Rookwood as well. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw Anne, well, he didn't want anyone to know that- So he cursed her. Oh, so cruel. Rookwood got what he deserved. Thank you for telling me. Anne and Sebastian deserve to know, and it should come from me. As we discussed, I spoke with Black. Sebastian's with the headmaster now, but perhaps there's a way to get word to him. When I find out, I'll send an owl. So, Ominous, since me and Sebastian might not be working out anymore, are you free this Friday? I think my schedule is open. Just saying. 
<laughs> I did not expect to like him. I, I didn't at all. Oh, and we- oh, and we switched back to, like, finally something that's not bloody winter. Yes! Congratulations, you have completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of your school year with the OWL exams fast approaching. Now is a good time to review your field guide, progress, explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storylines and side quests, and complete your field guide as you see fit. Or in other words, 100% the game, which I will be doing this. I will be doing that. This game deserves the complete experience of being able to platinum the game. I do know that to platinum this game, you have to complete all the field guide stuff, you know, all the collections to 100%. Well, collections are challenges, and I believe you also have to play each house up to a certain point in the story. I just, wow, I can't believe it's over. Quest complete in the Shadow of Revelation. Main quest completed. We're not done though. I saw my quest log. We have one more follow up with Poppy. So I'm so glad we're not done yet. Okay. Just the person I was hoping to see. You have no idea how good it makes me feel for you to say that. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. <laughs> if anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you when the poachers ambushed us. I. It was nice not to face them alone. I was happy to help a friend. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. <laughs> or Gran, of course. Uh, Highwing's good. Highwing's the best company. Animals are the best company, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of, uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. Stay. Have you heard from your parents? I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. You tell your gran we found the snidgets? Does your gran know that we found the snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers. But she confessed that she was rather envious about the snidgets. <laughs> I would be too. They were so cute. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. <laughs> We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. Uh -huh. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. She's bloodthirsty now. Oh, you and I so I love you. For a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Hywin can join us. Absolutely. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so now I think we've completed main mission, side missions, friend missions, all that. I think I have one more thing that I want to check. Oh no, we got Ominous! We got Ominous! Ominous! I'm coming! Hey. Thank you for coming. Oh, you're so very welcome. Ominous, I received your L. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the Ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. I know what you mean. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. 
I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Oh! So he was your best friend. So you're telling me there's a chance. I see that there's a vacancy. <laughs> Are you uh, taking applications? Asking for a friend. <coughs> me. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We keep getting stuff thrown at us. I'm yes. Keep it. Keep it coming, please. I think why this whole thing is so emotional for me too is because I have quite literally been waiting for this game like for as long as I can remember something even remotely similar to this. So the fact that we finally got it, we've already played through it and we have now finished the story is so meaningful to me and my inner child and I just have to say thank you for falling off your broom. That was hilarious. Yep, we all saw it, buddy boy. <laughs> He's like, no one saw that. No one. Oh. <coughs> um, I, I meant to do that. Yep. Also, don't think that I didn't see the summoner's court thing. We might be ending that saga today oh. as well. He's like, whoo. Wow, uh, that, was a, that was a tumble. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. This is it. Okay. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on. And that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs. Yep. And I don't even want to know the truth behind the rumors that you visited Azkaban. Best part. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. <laughs> I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. I'm at like 92... 91%? 92? I'm not finished with it yet. Don't judge me. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. <laughs> I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Can I say I am a fast learner? Okay, bye. She's gonna leave me in her office by myself. Wow, that's some serious trust right there. So, oh, we're, we're still not done. Oh, <gasps> the house cup. If Hufflepuff doesn't win, I will riot. I will take to the streets. <laughs> oh, we probably, oh no, okay. Oh, 
Are you seeing copying? <laughs> He's cheating. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's awesome. Heck it! <gasps> no way! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> Ridiculous! They didn't say it! They need to say it! Is it a puff skein? Is it... Oh, is that, that's puff skein Duncan, right? What a feel-good game, too. Even after everything that's happened. They really captured the warmth. This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we can finish the loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Of Salazar Slytherin. Go on in this. The winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse <laughs> me, Headmaster, if I may. Hmm. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, hmm, I'd say, 100 points to their house. 100? Can we add an extra zero? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. I thought I was done with this. I know. <laughs> Shout out to Avalanche. Oh my gosh. Uh, I wonder if I can, I, I mean. I, I'm sure I can recognize a couple of the names from the people that I met in LA when I got to play this game early. I'm searching for some names that I think I might know. Chandler! Chandler! Mark it A! Let's go, Chandler! Uh, go follow them on Twitter. I know what song this sounds like. God, they nailed it with the music in this game, too. It's just, it feels so Hogwarts. Shout out to everyone on this team. Seriously, every single one of you deserves a raise. Wow, look at the team. The team was massive, and I'm sure it had to be with all, with everything, how detail-oriented this game was. Fantastic. I'm sure there had to be hundreds, <laughs> maybe even a thousand people on this team. I just, it, it just blows my mind that human beings can make something as incredible as this that can make so many people so happy for hopefully years to come. Because this is going to be a comfort game for me where I could totally see myself every couple months or once a year kind of go back and just boot up the game and go through it and just feel really good. Quest complete, the house cup. That's it. 
the, 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 that's all, folks. Yes, I did sit through the entire credits. I felt like I had to for this one. Um, I don't often do that for most games. Like, I'll normally sit through for, like, the first little bit, but no, I had to sit there and just kind of go through all the names and see, see if I could find any that I recognize. So, shout out to Avalanche. Shout out to Alan, the director who I was so fortunate to meet when I was in LA. Shout out to Boston, who I also got to meet in LA, who was on the team that was responsible for decorating the entire castle, every single nook, cranny, everything. The design, every single corridor that you walk through. They did such a fantastic job with bringing the castle to life. Shout out to Chandler, who I've, I've talked to on Twitter, um, who I didn't get to meet in LA, but... And shout out to like everyone else. I, that I got to talk to, meet there. Shout out to all of the friends that I now have through this game and this experience. Um, retro, shout out to James, shout out to Lynette, shout out to just everyone. I'm about to go through everyone's name in the Discord. Shout out to Andy Reloads, who I got to meet, Lynette Wizard PhD, who I got to meet through this, the Pink Ravenclaw, Ben Snow, James, aka Expecto Go, Kellen, Retro Raconteur, and the Collecting Wizard. Uh, that's actually the everyone that I'm in like a Discord with we all got to share the LA experience together and we've kind of kept in contact through all of this so we've done a couple podcasts revolving around this game before it came out and just the the sense of community that I got since this game came out and the amount of friends that I have made because of this game has been so incredible but again shout out to the team shout out to Avalanche shout out to Warner Brothers thank you so much for bringing me to LA. Thank you so much for the early review copy of the game. Thank you so much for sending me the collector's freaking edition for the game, which you can see my wand back up there. It's one of my prized possessions. Thank you for everything. Thank you for changing my life with this game. Thank you for changing the course of my channel with this game. Thank you for taking the time and spending all these years putting forth all this blood, sweat, and tears into giving us the best Hogwarts experience that you could have given us. Thank you for all of it. I loved this game the entire way through. I could go on about why this game is so special to me and that would make this video another hour. Thank you for being so open and communicative with the community. <laughs> Thank you for all the live streams that you've done. Thank you for just keeping in touch with all of us on Twitter, on Twitch, on YouTube, and really showing us that you guys put everything into this game. You clearly loved it as much as we did. You wanted us to have the best experience that we could have playing this game, and you absolutely nailed it. You made me laugh countless times. You made me ball. You made me smile. One thing I will say is I did not expect to laugh as much as I did in this game, and not even from any of the dialogue or the writing. It was from, like, the really small moments in the game, from forgetting to take off the ridiculous glasses um, when, I, when I switch up my gear for my character, and forgetting to, um, you know, transmog it so that next time I get into a conversation, I create a little jump scare for myself, down to even the minor -ist, I don't know if that's a word, smallest of bugs that I've come across in this game with, you know, having certain characters spazzing out, or I, I, I don't even know, f weird facial expressions randomly dropping through the floor. Even the bugs in this game made the game what it was, made the game such a charming, hilarious experience, and... Like, I know to so many people this is probably just a damn video game, like, who cares, right? But to me, this is not just a video game. This is something I have been waiting for my whole life that I finally got and can't believe I just finished. It has done wonders for my channel, it has done wonders for my community, it has opened me up to so many friends, it has brought so many people into the community here, it has catapulted my, my channel in the short term to what it is now, I just... The first video of my playthrough alone is one of my highest viewed videos on the channel maybe ever, I, I don't know. I literally can't believe it every single time I go look, just go back and peek at it, like, just to see 
the heights that it's that it's grown to I, I it's literally it's taken on a life of its own I can't believe it this game is one of the best games I have ever played I say that wholeheartedly and not just because it's objectively a fantastic game but it's also just due to the entire personal experience for me. I hope to be able to do more podcasts with some of my friends that I mentioned earlier. I think we have planned some spoiler podcast chats. I believe we all plan on getting together and talking about the main story. I know that they were waiting on me to finish it. I've kind of been lagging behind because I have just been taking my sweet old time playing through this game. But if you guys are looking forward to those podcasts, you can probably go subscribe to any of those people on YouTube and it'll the podcast will take place on any of their channels. Thank you for bringing so much joy to my life at a time where frankly I really needed it right now. I just I can't say thank you enough for this wonderful wonderful game. <laughs> I loved it so much and I, I couldn't believe how close I was to finishing it that it caused me to go into an existential crisis. But all in all, I've had just so much positivity come from this game. I am forever grateful. <laughs> to everyone who has found the channel through this game, thank you so much for supporting the channel to the extent that you have over the past, what, oh gosh, um, it's- I finished this on March 22nd of 2023, and it is exactly 2.42 p.m. It came out, what, February 10th, so we've been playing it a little over a month, so to everyone who has discovered the channel and joined it over that- well, just period, like, everyone who's enjoyed the- the playthrough and joined the channel, subscribed to it, become a member, Patreon, whatever, thank you so much for all of it. You have no idea how much this has meant to me. Little old me, sitting here in my room in Ohio, where it's cold as butt outside, and I really can't do anything else besides invest so much time into this game. I will never forget this. I will probably be playing this game so many more times going forward over the years, and I think I should probably talk about now my plans with this game going forward. If you're interested in this, feel free to stick around. If you're not, that's totally cool. Thank you again for watching and supporting this playthrough and for all of the wonderfully positive comments that I have received in the comment sections. It has been so wholesome, so kind, and it's so great to see so many fellow Harry Potter nerds out there, truly. I don't even know if I want to make any definitive statements because it's the internet. Um, I don't want people to take my words and just run with it and treat it as gospel like it's going to happen or else she has personally slighted me and lied to me and she's not honest. Like, I don't ever try to be dishonest and go back on my word. Like, I'm human. Things change. Schedules change. I move. Things happen in my life that makes things harder to carry out, especially with me being one person. I'm the only one making these videos, sitting down, recording stuff. I'm the only one editing videos. I'm the only one streaming. I'm- this- this is it. I- I- I'm a team of one. So with that being said, I would love to continue playing this game. I have 91% done for the challenges. Um, I still have a lot more to do. Since we have pretty much completed the main quest and there's not going to be a lot more story heavy things going forward, my plan, and I say this very loosely, my plan was to hopefully take some time, free time that I have in the moment, if I have any, because I do have a separate part-time job on the side. You know, YouTube is kind of like my main thing right now. Fun fact, but I do have other things going on that might keep me from having like a consistent stream slash recording schedule, but I would love to sit down and continue 100%ing all the challenges in this game on a live stream and my plan is to platinum this game for sure, even if I do it if I do it on stream or if I don't, I do plan on platinuming this game. It's probably going to be my second platinum ever. The only other game I have platinumed is God of War Ragnarok when it came out, like, <laughs> not too long ago. I cannot stress this enough, though. I don't know if I will live stream the rest of it. I would love to live stream. I don't know if it's in the cards for me because live stream is not really my main content type 
of like choice, if that makes sense. I prefer recording and editing and uploading, but I do love occasionally doing live streams to be able to connect with the community. If I do set up live streams where I kind of play through the challenges and try to 100% everything, I hope it's not boring. I really don't know what to expect. If you guys want to show up, obviously you can. It's totally up to you. You are not obligated to show up to any streams whatsoever. I could literally just talk to myself about rocks. Like, I, I, I could just talk, clearly. You guys have stuck around this long, you know. If I do have any live streams coming up, I will schedule them on my channel so you will see a pop-up, you will get a notification for that, so you will know ahead of time. I would also love to schedule permitting, start a new character, and just break bad. I'm talking all unforgivable spells, Avada Kedavra, everybody. Whether or not I'm gonna stream it though, or do like a separate one-off recording and just kind of throw up episodes as I go. I really don't know yet. It, it's really just all schedule permitting and also if I feel like doing it. Streaming is one of those things that I really have to feel like it in the moment because I want it to be fun for everyone, including myself. And I know it's only fun for you guys if I'm having fun. All right, guys, I think that's it. I think that's really all I have to say. I feel like I've taken a lot of time to recap and talk about this. I could not have asked for a better ending to this story. I think the ending was fantastic. Seeing Fig kind of reunite with his late wife at the end was... I'm not surprised, you know, it, it seemed poetic that that would happen. We started the game with him, we got really, really close, he kind of became this uncle, you know, familial figure in our life, in our story. And then for him to reconnect with his wife, Miriam, at the end, it, it did make sense. It was very sad, but it did make sense to me. It is games like these that when you're done with them, you're like, what do I, what do I do with my life after this? Where do I go? Like, will I ever feel these feelings again? But I've played so many amazing games over the last year that have made me feel like this. And then it always leads me to another game that still makes me feel this way. So I have hope that I can find happiness again. And also, sorry for being over dramatic about everything. That's just kind of the whole package, you know what I'm saying? I love shedding tears over fictitious characters that I have gotten pathetically attached to, so I I revoke my apology. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you to all the new members, Patreons, and just general supporters. Thank you to every single person who has joined this channel since I started playing this game and all games in the past and all games going into the future. I am very excited for what this channel has hopefully going forward. I would also love some extra content on this game. <coughs> DLC <coughs> sequel. I'm sorry, it's it's dusty in here. I don't I don't know what it got into me. I'm sorry. I don't want to put the pressure on you guys, but I'm just I'm so, a girl can dream, right? I'm going to stop coping and I'm going to go I'm going to go cry and I'm going to go reflect on everything that's happened with since the beginning of 2023. And uh, I just wanna say thank you guys for coming along on this incredible adventure. Hope to see you guys in future live streams, in future videos, maybe for this game and in future series of any game going forward. Hope you guys have a magical rest of uh, This is the last time I gotta say this for this, for, th for this playthrough. Hope you guys have a magical rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.